All right, so today I will probably be doing a head gasket on this thing. It's a, a 2000 Honda Civic a D16 Y7 engine, the non VTEC. Uh, it's an LX trim level Civic. Uh, anyways, this is my coworker's car. Uh, what they did is their radiator cracked down here. Um, I don't know, you can probably see that crack. Uh, they lost all the coolant, um, but they kept driving it because they didn't, uh, they're not too car smart. Um, and what I believe happened, oh, and uh, they kept driving it to the point where it wouldn't run anymore. And they said um, it would just crank and crank, it wouldn't run. Uh, the old spark plug wires were old and brittle and melted into the head. Um, and when you pulled them, the, the wires just came out of the, the boot. Um, so there wasn't getting a connection to the spark plug. So that's the reason it wasn't running. Um, but I took the, uh, the wires out. Got new plugs and new wires in there, and you can hear it running like pretty bad. Um, I did a compression test, and it came back 60, 60, like 10, and like 140. Um, so I'm thinking it's a head gasket, so I'll go ahead and do that today to uh, see if that fixes it. Um, you can kind of see here it's kind of puffing out, puffing out steam kind of in rhythm to that misfire. Um, so what I'm thinking is cylinder three is pushing compression into the water jacket and that's why cylinder three is misfiring that badly. Um, I'll keep you updated on uh, what goes on. All right, so, so far I have disconnected most of the manifold bowls, valve cover off, um, all the intake stuff off, uh, fuel feed, fuel return off. Um, this hose was put in by someone and it's really stiff so I had to cut it. I'll have to get a new fuel hose for it later. I've um, got all the injector clips off, all the uh, idle air control valve, throttle position sensor, all that stuff off. Um, got that coolant loop, that one right there, that's off. Disconnect the head from the block for, as far as the coolant goes. Um, disconnected the other coolant to the heater core. Um, Got those off, got the distributor off, radiators out, upper hose, lower hose. Uh, let's see, what else do I have to do? Oh, some miscellaneous emissions stuff. Uh, I still have to jack the car up and take off the, the bolt for the brace for the manifold to block. I um, have to go under there and disconnect the um, header cat converter thing to the downpipe, get the exhaust manifold off. Uh, disconnect the power steering pump right there and that should be about it the head should be ready to come off at that point um, I've only really been at it for maybe 40 minutes or so so not too bad I'm getting, getting these exhaust nuts off right now um, one thing you really 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 need to pay attention to is that you use a six point socket so you don't round those things off because once you round them you're in a world of hurt oh well, look what i found oh what's that right there burnt exhaust valve ah it's gonna be a while i don't have any exhaust valves on hand damn it So I got the valve to the rough shape of what I needed and I stuck it in and I got some valve grinding compound on it uh, hooked up to this drill and that drill is attached to some vacuum tubing which is attached to the, the valve stem. Um, so I'm just going to town on this letting the, uh, the valve grinding compound uh, take care of the high and low spots on that valve. Uh, fingers crossed this thing actually works. So I think I've gone far enough. Um, it looks cleaned up enough to me. Uh, there's one little low spot, but I think it has a contact um, point in that low spot, so I think it'll be fine. Um, and we have the cleaned up valve seats. Looking pretty good. Um, so I think I'll only do the exhaust valves on this cylinder. Um, I'm fingers crossed everything else is good. 
Uh, this cylinder had like 140 PSI. That one had like 10, 60, 60. Um, but I'm hoping these two were just low because of the head gasket, and this one was low only because this one valve. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it all back together, slap a head gasket in there, um, throw the head back on, and I'll do a compression test before I go any further than that and uh, see if this actually worked. All right, I got the valves in, and I got the keepers in on the other side, so they're all set, ready to go. Uh, one thing I noticed, though, is that it seems like it sits really flush with the head, and whereas that one sticks out a noticeable amount. Um, I have no idea if that's going to affect anything or not, but uh, we shall see. So I got the head back on, got the uh, timing belt on, and I've disconnected the fuel pump fuse. And we're going to see what happens. Um, got my compression gauge hooked up to number three, which is the problem cylinder. Um, I have not cranked it over yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. Oh man, this poor Civic. Um, so I did the compression test, and three was still zero. Um, one and two were about 60, and four was about 60. Uh, and then I realized something. The valves were extremely tight on cylinder three. And that would definitely explain why the exhaust valve burnt. I'm guessing someone did a valve adjustment and didn't do it correctly, tightened them too much, and burnt a valve. Um, so I just did a valve adjustment on all four cylinders, and now they're all at about 75 to 90. So I'm going to call that a win. Um, 75 to 90, um, I am at altitude, 5,000 some feet. Um, so that affects the compression ratio. Um, well, not the, the ratio, but the uh, the compression test readings, um, as well as this engine is stone cold, because I just put it together. But uh, I think that's good enough to move on, so I'm going to go ahead and continue reassembling this thing. All right, we have a conclusion. So I got everything put back together, um, started it up, and it runs. Um, it idles pretty high, because there's absolutely no coolant in it. But um, I think we're good to go. Let me start it up for you. Oh yeah, you can hear that throw out bearing. There's clutch out. Clutch in, ooh, yeah. Anyways, no misfire. Um, I'm, I am waiting on a radiator. That's one thing that, um, you know, the old one was cracked. And uh, I ordered one online, so it'll be here in a few days. But, um, I mean, as far as I can tell, he's good, no misfires. Anyways, thanks for watching. Here's a little bonus vid. Um, so everything's back together. I was running it. Um, I put in the old radiator with a crack in it that I JB welded, and it seems to be kind of holding okay. Uh, that's just water, kind of dirty water. Um, but I did a compression test with it warm, pedal all the way down on cylinder 3, which is the one that I fixed the valve on, and 150 PSI. Looking good.